St. Benedict would say there are three elements that are key to Benedictine life, and that's a relationship with one another and whatever, what, whatever ways we have to, to be um, there for each other through good times and bad times, stress, stressful times. And then prayer and hospitality. How, we, how do we welcome each other, first of all, in community? But then how, how do we welcome guests? How do we say our house is here? You can find peace here. You can find um, quiet here and silence here. So, I first came here for a visit in 2008. And I actually physically moved into the monastery as a postulant the following August. Well, it had been August of 2009. So, so as far as actually being a sister, you know, we go through the different stages of formation. So I moved in as an affiliate, became a postulant a few weeks later, and then became a novice the following August, and first professed the year after that. So 2011, you actually become a professed sister. 40, let me see, since 1948, My senior brain doesn't do the math real well. <laughs> I've been a sister since 1957, so uh, I celebrated my 60th this past summer. It was a beautiful ceremony, you know, to to uh, knock on the door and and be accepted into uh, the community here and uh, being supported by the sisters. Uh, in my daily walk in seeking God in my life every day, so. Well, uh, we get called fairly early in the morning, around 6.30, quarter to seven. Then we have prayers, and then we have breakfast, followed by mass. And then the rest of the day is divided depending on what your profession or what your job is. Um, when I first came here, I worked at the State Library and talking books. So, uh, books for the visually impaired, which was kind of fun, actually. Um, after that, I worked for campus ministry at the University of Mary for four and a half years as assistant director. So that was exciting, lots of late nights, but, but fun. Um, and now I'm mostly full-time vocation director, meaning I work with women who are looking at or somewhat interested in religious life. Um, some are more serious than others. And then I teach a little, um, North Dakota history at the university. Wednesday afternoon, I volunteer at St. Alexis with um, the staff at an intensive care. I don't interact that much with the staff, but I'm there to be there for the families of patients who are in intensive care unit. And it's wonderful to be there. They're always so grateful when they know I'm sister. And I try to introduce myself as a sister so they know that I'm there for their benefit, and that's beneficial for me. When we entered, we were in full habit with coif and band and long gowns. Okay, now, now we dress like civilians, but they can tell us because usually they look for a, a, a symbol of the church. Many wear the, I wear the cross. Many wear the, the medal, the Benedictine medal, to indicate that we are religious people. It's kind of bookends our day. So we do morning prayer and we do evening prayer together um, each day. And sort of that, sometimes, not always, but sometimes when we're singing really well and that blending of our voices together as we sort of raise our voices to God, it just kind of gives me tingles sometimes. We would never go a day without any kind of prayer. We always have prayer together. Uh, morning, noon, and evening. One of our vows is stability. We commit ourselves to this group of women, to this place uh, for the rest of our lives, which is very scary when I was first discerning, but, but there's, there's kind of a, um, a security to it, I guess, that you'll never have to seek God, you'll never have to go through good times, bad times alone. You'll always have that group of sisters with you. Um, so eating together, praying together, playing together, um, we do a lot of social things together. You know, a vocation, a religious vocation is just, it's, it gives you such fruits that, you know, you never knew you 
would receive. Um, and, and I'm, you know, just blessed to, 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 to serve God in whatever way he, he would like me to.